Hey, it's Dr. Thornell from New England Family Chiropractic, and I have a question for you today that could win you a million dollars. Um, the question is, if I offered a million dollars to the first person who walks in our door today to simply go get a cold, I want to give a million dollars to the first one of you who can catch a cold, how would you go about catching that cold? Now, people might say, well, I'd get around people who have a cold. Well, it takes more than that, doesn't it? You can be around people who have a cold, but you don't get a cold. What you have to do is get yourself run down first. You either don't sleep enough, um, you eat a bunch of lousy food, you, you drink too much and get hung over, um, you, you know, do a lot of things that would break the body down, and eventually your body gets weak enough that you become a good environment to catch a cold. So in reality, you don't catch a cold, you create an environment that makes a cold possible. So when somebody says to you, oh, you made me sick because you have a cold, or you say to somebody else, I caught my cold from you, none of that's true. You had to create an environment that was right for having a cold. So it's always, as with all things in health, it's up to you. So what I want to introduce to you is this term dis-ease. When the body is healthy and functioning properly, it's said to be in a state of ease, which we would also call health. Then there's a state that most people are familiar with that's called disease. It's when you actively have some sickness going on. Um, you have breakdown and uh, disease and, and, and uh, bacteria and viruses and things have taken hold. We've got that situation where you have a cold. Well, that situation in between ease and disease is a term that's called dis and then a hyphen ease. Dis-ease, which is where the word disease comes from. So when we're no longer in a state of ease or health, we're now in a state of dis-ease, which leads to disease. Nobody ever goes from being healthy to being sick. You have to have that in-between state in order to result in disease. And what I want you to know today, and keep this in mind not only for yourself, but for everybody you care about, that dis-ease state can be developed through nerve interference. That's the, the subluxation process interfering with the nervous system is one of the leading causes of dis-ease known to man. It causes the body to function improperly, which then makes you more prone to every sort of disease that you can imagine. So our goal is not necessarily to have people wait until they're diseased and try to fix them. We want people to stay in a matter of a state of ease, and if they start to drift into dis-ease, we want to live over here, working between those two states not wait until we're into the point of disease. So how can you win a million dollars by catching a cold? It's actually impossible. You would have to create the environment to go get yourself a cold. You create a cold, you don't catch a cold, nobody gives you a cold. Um, it's always up to you as with most things in health. So hopefully that will help you change the way you think about getting sick and make you realize how important it is for you and your family to be under regular care regardless of disease, we want to be in these two states over here.